love salads. Me too. I usually eat a simple salad. What do you put in it? Just lettuce, tomato, and celery. That's it? I add some pepper and salt. I always put cheese in my salads. Yes, cheese is nice. What kind of dressing do you use? I pour lots of French dressing on top. Me too. French dressing is so delicious. Who cares about calories? I love cheese. Me too. Where does cheese come from? It comes from cows. So we get cheese from cows and we get milk too? Yes, we do. What else do we get from cows? We get hamburgers and steak. Oh, that's so delicious. We also get leather. We get a lot of things from cows, don't we? Yes, a cow is man's best friend. I used to work in a deli. How did you like it? I loved it. Did you get free food? I ate free cheese and meat every day. That sounds like a great job. Whatever a customer ordered, I sliced off a little more for me. Did you get fat? No, but I did put on a few pounds. That sounds like a dream job. It was, until one day my manager caught me. <laughs> no more free cheese for you, huh? I'm on a new diet. <laughs> what are you eating now? I switched from pasta to potatoes. Why did you do that? Pasta is processed food. Potatoes are natural food. Natural food has more vitamins. And it's just as easy to prepare. How do you prepare the potatoes? I wash them and then steam them for 15 minutes. That's pretty simple. Then I add butter, salt, and pepper. Can I have all those cans of tomato sauce you bought for your pasta? My girlfriend's mom got mad at me at the dinner table. Why was that? I sprinkled salt and pepper on the food before I tasted it. What's the matter with that? Her mom is a great cook. So? A little salt and pepper never hurt anything. It hurt her feelings. Oh? I apologized to her, but I could tell she was still upset. Maybe you shouldn't eat there again. I'm sure everything will be okay in a day or two. It's your girlfriend's fault. She should have warned you. I eat the same thing every day. You're kidding. No, I'm serious. Doesn't that get old? No, because I'm eating food that I like. But the same thing day after day gets old. Well, I guess if it ever does get old, I'll change to something different. Do you eat fruits and vegetables every day? No. I hate vegetables. But you eat fruits. I eat two apples, one banana, and one orange every day. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. There's something wrong with my orange. What's wrong? It's not orange. <laughs> Your orange isn't orange. No, it's dark pink. Are you sure? I never heard of such a thing. I just peeled it, and I'm looking at it right now. Let me see. Yes, you're right. Your orange is pink. Who ever heard of such a thing? Oh, look. Here's the little sticker that was on it. It's called a pink navel. What is this world coming to? Who knows? Maybe soon we'll have pink bananas. I love peanuts. Me too. I love them roasted and salted. I love boiled peanuts. Boiled? I never heard of that. Just boil raw peanuts in salt water until the shells are soft. I'll have to try them sometime. They're best when they're hot. My brother is allergic to peanuts. That's not good. No, it isn't. He almost died when he was little. Well, he, has to, he has to be very careful about what he eats. He has a very strict diet. I'm gaining weight. How much have you gained? Three pounds just this month. Do you know why? I think it's the ice cream. You started eating ice cream. It was on sale. How much did you buy? I filled up my freezer with ice cream. 
Well, it won't last forever. No, I figure I'll finish it all by next week. Then you can start losing weight. If there isn't another sale. I'm stuffed. Of course you are. You ate everything on the table. I don't like to eat leftovers. I'm glad to hear there's something you don't like to eat. I like my food hot and fresh. You like to see it disappear. I don't like it reheated. Well, you'll have hot, fresh food tomorrow night. I'm so full, I'm going to burst. You should loosen your belt. I already loosened my belt and unbuttoned my pants. Well, don't stand up, please. I saw what you did. I didn't do anything. Oh yes, you did. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. I don't have any idea. You know what you did. Maybe I know, but how could you know? Because I was watching you. Okay, I'm sorry I did it. Don't drink milk out of the carton. Use a glass. I promise I'll never drink out of the carton again. I like that shirt. So do I. How much is it? I don't know. The tag is missing. Ask the clerk. I will. Oh, look! Here's another shirt just like it. Does it have a price tag? Yes, it does. It's only twenty dollars. That's a great price. I think I'll buy both of them. You'd better try them on first. I bought you a pair of pants. Thank you. I hope they fit. I hope you kept the receipt. You think they won't fit? I think I've put on some weight. You think? Maybe a pound or two. Maybe four or five pounds. My waist is bigger than it was. No problem. These pants have an elastic waistband. You are so smart. What do we need to buy? Let me look at our list. I know we need milk. Non-fat. Of course. What else? We need cheese, bread, and ham. What kind of cheese? Swiss. Of course, the cheese with holes in it. I never used to buy Swiss cheese. Why not? I didn't want to pay for the holes. I need some pants. I thought you just bought a pair. I did. What's wrong with them so soon? The pants are fine, but the pocket has a huge hole in it. You shouldn't carry your keys and pins in your pocket. But that's what pockets are for. You should carry them in a purse. I'm a man, and men don't carry purses. Well, you should buy pants with stronger pockets. I would if I could find someone who makes strong pockets. Try a Google search online. What are those wipes for? You use them to wipe the handle of the shopping cart. That's a great idea. Yes, all of the markets just started offering wipes to shoppers. I'm gonna take five wipes. What do you need five of them for? One to wipe the handle, and the others to wipe the produce. What's the matter with the produce? Do you think the bananas fell from the sky? What do you mean? I mean, someone used their dirty hands to pick the bananas, the apples, and the oranges. Well, you better save a wipe for the dirty dollar bills you're going to pay with. Did you go to the 99 cent store? Yes, I did. What did you buy? Well, I got a lot of good deals as usual. Like what? Well, a dozen large eggs were only ninety-nine cents. That's a good deal. And a one-pound tub of soft butter was the same price. Another good deal. But the best deal was five pounds of potatoes for ninety-nine cents. I don't know how that store makes money. Neither do I, but they're doing something right. I need a new computer. What's the matter with yours? It's six years old. That's pretty old. It still works, but I'm going to give it to charity. Are you going to buy a desktop or a laptop? Oh, a laptop, of course. A PC or a Mac? I haven't decided yet. More and more people are using Macs. But 90% of the world uses PCs. And that's not going to change anytime soon. I got ripped off. What happened? I had a car problem, so I went online. Did you find a solution? Yes, I did. A site I went to said they would send me the solution. 
So what's the problem? I sent them $20 using my credit card, but they never sent me the solution. What are you going to do? I sent them an email asking for my money back. Have you heard from them? Not yet. It's been a week. Well, I guess that's a $20 lesson for you. Where's the pencil sharpener? Which one? Anyone. I need to sharpen this pencil. I think there's one on the dining room table. I already looked there. Did you look in the desk drawer? Yes, I looked there too. Don't we have about five sharpeners? Yes, but they seem to have legs. Tomorrow I'm going to buy an electric sharpener. Get one with the rubber suction cups on the bottom. Yes, that way it will stay where I put it. I'm trying to stretch my dollars. How are you doing that? I started shopping at the dollar store. That saves a lot of money. I bought three pounds of potatoes for a dollar. That's a good deal. Yes, even though some of the potatoes had eyes. Just put them in the fridge. Also, I bought a can of cheap coffee and a bag of good coffee. Why did you do that? I mixed them together. If the coffee still tastes okay, that's a good idea. Why is there so much crime? Because parents don't teach their kids right from wrong. Is that it? Also, there aren't enough police. But there are a lot of police. There's only one police officer per 100 criminals. Can't we hire more police? No, it costs too much money. Doesn't crime cost more than police? Yes, it does. So it would be cheaper to hire more police? Yes, it would. This is a great neighborhood. Yes, it is. People are friendly. Yes, they are. The streets and sidewalks are clean. Yes, they are. There's a real nice park nearby. Yes, there is. I feel safe here. There's no crime here. I wish I could move here. Maybe you can, if someone moves out. house burned down what happened the man fell asleep was he smoking yes he was smoking a cigarette did he die yes he did his cat died too that's too bad what about his smoke alarm the battery was dead a good battery battery would have saved his life he had cigarettes but no battery it happens all the time. They say he has started 15 big fires. He's been in jail three times already. Why did they ever let him out? It's the law. They can't keep him in jail forever. Why not? Everyone knows he's a firebug. He loves to start fires. I don't know. Sometimes the law doesn't make sense. But his latest fire killed someone. This time, they have charged him with murder. So maybe he'll go to jail forever. I sure hope so. Someone should set him on fire. That would teach him a good lesson. Put your seatbelt on. Why? Because it will protect you in case of an accident. But it's uncomfortable. It's the law. It's so much trouble. It's common sense. It's so tight that it's hard for me to breathe. Hold your breath till we get there. Okay, my seatbelt is on. I'm glad you don't complain very much. I'm ready for an accident. What are you doing? I'm going to change the light bulb. It burnt out. What are you standing on? A couple of dictionaries and some textbooks. Are you crazy? What's the matter? Those books will slip and you'll fall. It's only a couple of feet. What if you fall while you're holding the light bulb and it breaks and pieces go into your eyes? Ow, I never thought about that. You'd be blind for the rest of your life. I'll get a stepladder. Did you see that puddle of water on the floor? Yes, I called for a cleanup. 
A puddle of water is very dangerous. It isn't easy to see. But it's real easy to slip on. Especially on these slick floors. Someone who slips could hurt their back. They could even crack their head open. We should stand here till the cleanup person gets here. We can leave if we put on an orange cone here. Yes, but I don't know where the orange cones are. It doesn't matter. Here he comes, now with the mop. What happens when the fire alarm rings? We tell our students to leave the classroom. Can they take their belongings? Yes, if they do it quickly. Where do the students go? They go out to the north parking lot. What do the teachers do? We take our rosters to the parking lot and take roll. Why do they do that? We want to make sure all the students are out of the building. If they are all outside, then what? Then we just wait outside for a fireman to tell us to go back in. I have to go back upstairs. Why? We're already late. I have to check the stove. What's the matter? Maybe I left the burner on. No, you didn't. I checked the stove before we left. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. Well, I have to go back upstairs anyway. It's getting later every minute. I think I left the water running. No, you didn't. Let's go. The only thing running is the clock. The city is buying guns. What are they paying? Up to $200 for each gun, no questions asked. Why are they doing this? They want to get guns off the street. Who would turn in a gun for $200? That isn't a good deal. A good gun costs $400 or more. Well, if you bring your receipt, maybe they'll give you $400. I'll keep my receipt and my gun. I didn't know you had a gun. Everyone in America should have a gun. You're yawning. I sure am. You should go to bed. I will as soon as I finish this article. What are you reading? It's about crime in Los Angeles. What does it say? The mayor says the crime rate is going down. Then why does everyone lock their doors? I guess they haven't read this article. No one believes that the crime rate is going down. Maybe the mayor is just talking about his own neighborhood. People who live in California are crazy. Why is that? Because of all the earthquakes and fires. But big earthquakes happen only once in a while. Once in a while is too many. But you're right, there are a lot of fires. A recent fire destroyed 85 homes. Still, it's safer than Florida. Florida doesn't have earthquakes or fires. No, Florida just has hurricanes every year from June to October. But most of those hurricanes are harmless. Excuse me, Hurricane Andrew destroyed 30,000 homes. I went to Hawaii on vacation. Did you like it? I loved it. I want to live there. What did you like? The island is so green, and the water is so blue. Did you go swimming? I went to the beach every day. How was the weather? It was hot and sunny every day. What did you do at night? At night, I went out to eat. The food was delicious. People who live in Hawaii are lucky. I like this hotel. What do you like about it? We get a free breakfast. Coffee and a roll? No, a real breakfast. Bacon and eggs? With toast, ham, sausage, fresh fruit, and juice. Wow, that is nice. Let's stay for two nights. And the rooms are clean, too. Do they allow pets? No pets, no smoking. I like that. Let's stay three nights. I'm not sleeping here tonight. What's the matter? This is a nice room. Maybe the room is nice, but not the bed. What's wrong with the bed? Look at this sheet. Yes. See those stains? I sure do. I'm not sleeping on that sheet. We'll just call the front desk. They'll give us new sheets. 
I want sheets without stains on them. From now on, let's bring our own sheets. What time does your plane leave? It leaves at 12.15. When do you have to be at the airport? I have to be there two hours early. So we have to be at the airport at 10.15. That means we have to leave the house at 9.15. Well, it's an hour to get there if there are no traffic problems. So maybe we better leave at 8.15? Yes. It's better to get there too early than too late. I agree. You never know what might happen on these freeways. There's at least one huge accident every day. I need to fly to New York. When are you going? During the Christmas holidays. You'd better buy your ticket now. You must be kidding. No, I'm not. It's March. Time is running out. Seats are selling out right now. I thought I would wait until October. I'll bet this is the first time you've ever flown during Christmas. You're right. Well, listen to me. You need to buy a ticket now. But maybe prices will be cheaper in October. Cheaper prices won't do you any good if there are no seats. I hate flying. So do I. A long time ago, flying used to be okay. Now it's like riding a bus. You're jammed in with people all around you. Half of them are coughing and the other half are sneezing. You don't have any elbow room or knee room. People are always getting up to use the bathroom. Kids are crying or climbing over you. It's a flying zoo. I wish I could afford first class seats. Doesn't everybody? Some guys rode across the Atlantic Ocean. Good for him. Why would he do that? Did he set a new record? Yes, I think he did. Well, I guess that's why he did it. What's the point? Now he has the world record. But someone's going to break it, so what good is it? Well, he can enjoy it while it lasts. I don't think he even got paid for it. Some people do it just to do it. I want to go on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. Where do you want to go? I want to cruise to Hawaii. That should be a nice trip. Lots of fun and lots of food. I have no idea how much it will cost. I think it depends on the season and your cabin. Well, of course, I want to go when the weather is nice. Yes, you don't want to travel in winter storms. And I want to get a big cabin with a view. Are you going to travel alone? No, my sister and I will travel together. Well, you should go online and try to find a good deal. I hate to fly. Because of all the security? No, because it hurts my ears. What do you mean? Every time we land or take off, my ears hurt so much. That's just the altitude change, I think. Whatever it is, it hurts. Can't you take medicine or something for that? I've tried everything, but nothing works. Have you tried earplugs? They don't work either. Well... Be glad you're not a pilot. Spring break starts tomorrow. Are you going to go anywhere? I was thinking of driving to Arizona. To the Grand Canyon? Yes, I've never been there. I was there when I was a kid. How did you like it? I loved it. I still remember how amazing it was. I'm sure I'll like it too. You should try riding a mule on a trail to the bottom. No way. I don't want to fall to my death. Don't worry. Only one person has ever fallen off a mule. That hotel was terrible. The worst in the whole world. The walls were so thin. All day long we heard TVs or telephones. All night long we heard people snoring. Housekeeping didn't give us fresh towels. Room service brought us a cold dinner. Our non-smoking room stunk of cigarette smoke. Our room was right next to the elevator and the ice machine. 
They added phony charges to our bill. How do we end up in that terrible hotel? The travel agent gave us a 50% discount. I have to hang up. I'm so sleepy. It's not even 10 o'clock. I'm falling asleep on the phone. You got up real early? I had to take my friend to the airport. Why didn't you take a nap when you got home? I didn't get home until 30 minutes ago. Why is that? There was a bomb threat at the airport. Only a threat? Yes, but I was stuck there all day while they looked for the bomb. Someday the bomb is going to be for real. My dad went to Washington, D.C. Why did he do that? He was invited along with about 90 other veterans. Who invited them? Some private organization. Why did they invite him? To thank him and all the other soldiers who served in World War II. That's very nice. My dad got to see the beautiful new World War II monument. That trip must have cost a lot of money. He said all the money came from private donations. That was a great trip to Washington, D.C. Tell me about it, Dad. About 90 of us World War II veterans got on the plane at 8 a.m. How long was the flight? It only took about two hours. Did you take pictures at the World War II monument? Oh, yes. We all took lots of pictures. Then you flew back home that evening? Yes. When we landed, TV reporters in the Army Band were there. That must have made you feel really special. Oh, it did. There were about 300 people there to honor us. Well, you all deserve it. You helped save our country. I need a job. I thought you had a job. I did. What happened? I got laid off. That's terrible. When did it happen? I got laid off last week. Just you? No. Ten of my co-workers got laid off, too. What are you going to do? I'm looking in the newspaper for a job. Good luck. Before you go to that interview, check yourself. What's to check? Are your nails clean? Yes, they are. Did you double check your nose and teeth? They are clean too. Did you shine your shoes? My shoes are shined. Do your socks match? Of course they match. No, they don't. One is black and one is dark blue. Yikes. Thank you. Life is hard. It sure is. I thought school was hard. Me too. I couldn't wait to graduate. But now work is hard too. I agree. Work is just as hard as school. Sometimes I wish I was back in school. Me too. School was fun. And it was only 12 years. It went by pretty fast. But work goes on forever. We have to work for 30 years. I'm sleepy. So am I. I had a long day. So did I. I didn't even have lunch. Neither did I. I was busy the whole day. So was I. I had to bring work home with me. I did too. Your day was just like mine. Of course it was. We worked together. I don't like my job. What do you do? I'm a babysitter. Is that a lot of work? Babies cry all the time. You have to change their diapers. I have to feed them. Are you looking for another job? No, I'm looking for another family. Another family? A family with only one baby. That's a good idea. I need a job. What was your last job? I was a painter. What happened? I got laid off because there was no work. What else can you do? I'm a handyman. Can you fix a dripping faucet in a kitchen sink? Of course. Then I have a job for you in my kitchen. It will cost you only $20 plus parts. Okay, that sounds like a fair price. What would you do if you lost your job? I have no idea. I've been here for 20 years. Do you have any other skills? 
Mm, well, I know how to flip hamburgers. No one would hire you to flip hamburgers. Have you heard something that you're not telling me? What do you mean? Are there going to be layoffs at this place? I certainly hope not. If you got laid off, you'd be flipping hamburgers too. Oh, great. We could both work at Burger King. Maybe we'd get laid off there too. Do your students ever talk about their jobs? Yes, and they ask me what jobs are the best. I tell my students to become a teacher. Teaching is a great job. It's the best job I've ever had. What makes it so good? For me, it's the students. What do you mean? I mean, I have wonderful students. That must be nice. Teaching is the best part of my whole day. You're a lucky man to have a job you love. Boy, I'm glad that job is finished. How long did it take? Four hours without a break. It's always nice to finish a job. Well, it's good and bad. What's bad about it? When you finish, all you do is start another job. Yes, that's right. It does get boring. Especially if it's the same work over and over. But that's what most people do. Yes. I guess most of us are stuck in a routine. I wonder if there is any job that you don't repeat over and over. I think I have the worst boss in the world. What makes him so bad? He's rude and he yells a lot. That's hard to take. I never heard him say please or thank you. He sounds like a real jerk. No one at work likes him. Can't you report him to his supervisor? Of course not. If I do that, I'll lose my job. Yes, they don't like troublemakers or complainers. I can't quit because I'm making a good salary. You shouldn't choose money over happiness. What are we going to do? About what? About finding a job for me. You don't need a job. I make enough money for both of us. That doesn't matter. I don't want to sit around. Okay. What kind of job do you want? I'm not sure. Well, you should do something that you enjoy. I enjoy selling. I was born to sell. Okay. What do you want to sell? Cigarette lighters. I'll make a fortune. But you hate cigarettes and you hate smoking. A new hotel is looking for workers. Yes, I saw it on the TV news. They need 300 new workers. And 4,000 people showed up. So many people are out of work. I still have my job, thank goodness. So do I, but I'm worried. Me too. There are no guarantees. If you lose your job, you can move in with me. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. You would do the same for me. Of course. What are friends for? I think I did something real stupid. What did you do? I bought some stock. Everybody buys stock. I bought it on a hunch. You didn't read about the company first? I didn't have to. It's been in business for 60 years. So what's the problem? I use all my savings on this one company. You put all your eggs into one basket? If the company goes out of business, I'll have nothing. Oh, you'll have something. You'll have a lesson you'll never forget. I was going to be a doctor. What happened to your plans? I got a D in college chemistry. Well, a D is better than an F. A tutor helped me get the D. So you didn't become a doctor? And now I'm glad that I didn't. Why is that? A hospital is the most dangerous place in the world. Oh, yes, because of all the killer germs. If you're a smart doctor, you stay away from hospitals. Yes, the smart doctors are those TV news doctors. No hospitals, no patients. I want to be a mail carrier when I grow up. Why? Because you get to meet a lot of people. You sure do. 
And you get a lot of exercise every day. That's the truth. And you get to play with a lot of dogs. Well, you're supposed to be working. Yes, but I will always pet the friendly dogs. What about the unfriendly dogs? I think if you are friendly to dogs, they are friendly to you. Dogs are like people. Not all of them are friendly. I want to move to New York. To the state or the city? The city, of course. Why do you want to move there? Because I want to make a lot of money. There are a lot of poor people in New York. There sure are, at least a million. So how do you plan to become rich? I will knock on the doors of all the corporations. That won't make you rich. Nobody will talk to you. I will keep knocking on doors. All you will get is sore knuckles. <laughs>